Gabby Petito smoking gun would be if killer's DNA was found under her nails showing struggle, lawyer claims. The smoking gun in the Gabby Petito case would be if the killer's DNA was found under her fingernails, showing a struggle before she died, it has been claimed. As reported, the 22-year-old's body was found in Woodland near Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming in September, and an autopsy revealed she died by strangulation. If Gabby has her killer's DNA under her fingernails, it could be the smoking gun to solving her case credit, social media, refer to source. The remains of Brian Laundry, Gabby's fiance, were found on Thursday but the cause of death still hasn't been determined credit, KSL 5. But her devastated family are no closer to getting justice as the only person of interest in the case, her fiance Brian Laundry, has been confirmed dead. His skeletal remains were found on October 20th by police after his parents Chris and Roberta, discovered his belongings near the entrance to the Carlton Reserve in Northport, Florida. Criminal defense lawyer Matthew Bauma told The Sun in an exclusive interview there may still be plenty of circumstantial evidence following Laundrie's death, which should be sufficient to close the case. He said, they found her body and the proof of strangulation. That's common among lovers or people who know each other. Additionally, if they found evidence on her body, say under her fingernails, and they found his DNA, that tends to show a mutual struggle against each other. That is as close to a smoking gun as we will get, unless there is more that we do not know. LA-based Bauma feels laundry, 23, has possibly committed suicide, but his autopsy proved inconclusive this week, due to the state of the remains found in an area previously underwater. Brian has possibly committed suicide, he said. Bauma said the family did the right thing cooperating with authorities, as they accompanied the FBI on Wednesday to an area they first told cops about a month ago but they were unable to access. They do not have an affirmative duty to cooperate, but if they had involvement in aiding his getaway, they would have likely faced criminal charges, he said. And these charges could have culminated in them being imprisoned and possibly even forced to testify against their son. As such, at minimum, they needed to have absolutely no involvement with Brian. It is coincidental that within 24 hours from when his parents start to search for his body that they indeed find his materials, notes, and body. Bauma said as a defense lawyer he feels Brian did the right thing never commenting on the case, although it may now mean Gabby's heartbroken family are forever left without answers. I am curious to see if he wrote down additional information about what happened to Gabby, he went on. Additionally, the investigation will likely persist in attaining information for the victim and the victim's family. Asked if he thinks Brian's family will ever know how he died, he added, we likely lost a lot of data by virtue of him being underwater. However, he may have written a suicide note, it's what individuals who commit homicide slash suicide do. As such, there may be additional clues that can shed light on what he may have done. Cops were able to positive identity skeletal remains found in Carlton Reserve using the fugitive's dental records. Laundry's family attorney, Steve Bertolino, confirmed that a cause of death had not yet been determined in a statement to the New York Post on Friday. No manner or cause of death was determined, and the remains were sent to an anthropologist for further evaluation, Bertolino said. Laundry vanished just days after Gabby's family reported her missing on September 11th. He had returned alone from a cross-country road trip the couple had been on together on September 1st and provided no information about where his missing fiancé could be. Brian has possibly committed suicide, said criminal defense lawyer Matthew Bauma credit, social media, refer to source. People are emotionally invested in this case as it hits so close to home. Detectives came to Brian Laundrie's home in Florida to inform his parents that the remains were confirmed to be his credit, Getty Images, Getty. Lee County Sheriff holds press conference after remains were found in search of Brian Laundrie.